What's good YouTube? Today we're going to do a bit of a different conversation and that is uh, talking about what makes a top matter and uh, what is a credential. Basically I'm going to do accomplishments versus credentials. These are two different things even though they seem very similar. An accomplishment is uh, both personal and doing something. Like let's say you get your invite. You've made the top, uh, you know, X amount of duelists to have to get there to get their invite. So, you, you've you done something that is tangible. You can go to nationals. You can get a playmat that said you were there, got your invite. You did something. But this is not considered a credential in the game. Getting your invite is by uh, no means anymore uh, a credential. It's uh, by many seen as a, a participation award because if you try hard enough and you do enough, you'll probably get your invite. It's very hard not to get your invite. And while some people do struggle to get there at first, uh, it's, it's something that's relatively considered easy to get. Now, here's where it gets a bit sticky. Regional tops, ARG tops, and YCS tops. So... You have uh, regional tops, and uh, I honestly don't consider these a credential at this point. Even though you have very, very large fields, and they do determine the shape of where a format is going, and are examples of where a format is going, the reason why I wouldn't consider them a credential but instead an accomplishment is that you have all these duelists doing things and you did accomplish something you got a playmat you got a, a deck box but you, you went through a field that's relatively more lax no matter what even in california your first few rounds are going to be easier better duelists are going to be trying out things it's not their optimal strategy that they're most confident in they're trying out things to see how they do whereas at a ycs typically people bring their a game unless they're desperate for some kind of tech and uh so that that begs the question like well my regionals a thousand people how is it not an accomplishment well you get into the talk about what's a premier top also with ARGs for ARGs and YCS is people fly out from all over the country sometimes the world Australian duelist Bowden you know comes out for ARGs like people come f from all over and there are tangible much bigger prizes for a YCS and a regional, if you top a YCS, you're getting an almost $100 playmat. Uh, you're alone, and you've done something that not too many duelists, comparatively to the dueling universe, has done. And uh, when you when you top a regional, you're doing something that happens a lot more. And regional is what its name is, region. People are not flying out worldwide to other regionals or even nationwide for the most part like Paul Cooper did that for a bit but he didn't go all over the nation for the most part like he he stayed pretty much where you know one kind of track so you you definitely have like this line where it's regionals are below ARGs ARGs and YCS's flux but YCS's are above ARGs it's just a matter of Prizing and participation. So uh, one day, perhaps the ARG circuit will get there, but currently, its uh, its place is there, considered in tops because of the number of participants. If you have the most concentrated fields of pro in an ARG, this is why it's considered premier. You have the most concentrated field of a hundred or so, you know, a hundred fifty to two hundred duels plus. Uh, that flew from across the nation. You you have rounds where you're gonna face Jake Defenny and then Patrick Hoban and then Jeff Jones, then Max Reynolds. Like so concentrated of fields full of pro players, and then you're not gonna face that at a regional. You, you're only gonna face that in an ARG or YCS, but the ARG is just like a concentrated field of that. So. That's why you could consider ARGs premier tops, but a regional is never going to be premier. No matter what you did with the deck first, no matter uh, if you innovated and topped first, it's it's just not a premier top. It is a personal accomplishment. Now, is it a credential in any way, shape, or form? I I have twenty three regionals. I have two that personally matter to me very much. I would not consider these twenty three tops to be 
any part of my credentials in the game. I can say that I have them be once people throw around numbers just to say they don't matter like that. Like, yes, they got me my invite. Yes, they were part of me growing as a duelist. Yes, it's cool that I've done it with some of the decks that I did. But I do not consider it a credential. I consider it a personal accomplishment. So, what do you guys think? Am I being too harsh on it? I don't know. Like, I really do think that people don't weigh accomplishments versus, you know, what an actual credential is. It's personal versus that. And yes, uh, a lot of people do see regional tops as an actual credential, but you have to consider that, that those are people who struggled to get to those point and finally reach that summit and they're holding on to something personal so they consider it a credential to themselves but i think the dueling competitive universe does not see it as a credential but let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh obviously some of these are really hard to top and do so i could be wrong but i think the more competitive players would say the same thanks for watching guys